say to the king the knowledge of the battle. Darkness stood as two spent swimmers do, cling together and show with their arm the merciless McDonald. Show like a rebel's war, when all's too weak for brave but fair. Well, he deserves that name. Disdaining fortune with his brandy steward. Smoked with bloody execution. Like Vanna's minion, he carved his passage till the face is slain. Which never shook hands with, nor bade farewell to till the unseen, from the name to the chat, and he fixed his head upon the battlefields. But Scully does it. Glad we get Mark, King of Scotland, Mark. No sooner justice had his battle heart compelled these sleeping birds to trust their news, but the Norwegian lord, surveying vantage, furbished arms, and new supplies of men, began the fresh assault. This may not this our captain, Miss Beckham Bagwell. If I say so, I must have what they were. This cannon's overcharged with double cracks, so they doubled me double, strikes upon the foe. Oh, but I'm weak. I'm actually quite the help. So well, Bagwell, well, from the ears they wounds. Can you smack him on the boat? Go, get insurgents. Who comes here? The one who came for us. Got case went through his eyes. So should he look and see to speak in his frame. Lord save the king. Whence camest thou, worthy fame? From five great king, and the Norwegian bands cloud the sky and fan our people cold. The boy himself in terrible numbers, assisted by that most disloyal traitor, the day of call, began a dismal conflict, and to conclude, Victory, not us. Big <laughs> happiness. No more that may not fall or shall receive our bosom in bed. Go. Now, <coughs> present left, and with this former title, we can confer. Shall be done. Well, here at last, the Lord of the Left hath won. Who's here? The king hath happily received Macbeth, the news of thy success. We are sent. 
give thee for my royal master. Yes. King Duncan bade me call thee Thane of Gordon. Hail, most worthy Thane. What? Can it ever speak true? The Thane of Gordon lives. Why do you dress me in borrowed robes? Who was the Thane live yet? But under heaven you drunk from bed that life which he deserves to lose. Treat the capital. Confess the three. Vote three. Full arms. Thane of Gordon too. The greatest is behind. Thanks for your pains. Two truths are told as happy prologues to the swelling act of our imperial theme. So it cannot be ill, it cannot be good. If ill, present fears are less than horrible imaginings. Look, how about this rat? If chance will have me king, why chance may crown me without my stuff. <clears throat> Worthy with bet, stay upon your leisure. Ah, oh, give me your favour! My dull brain was wrought with things forgotten. Let us do all the king. Himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. 
Come, you spirits that tend the mortal thoughts. Unsex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood. Come to my woman's breast and take my milk for gall, you murdering ministers. Come, thick night, and call thee the dunnest smoke of hell, so that my keen knife see not the wounded things, nor heaven peep through the blanket of the dark to cry, hold, hold. Great arms, worthy cordial, grace them both by the old hail hereafter. Your letters will transport me beyond this ignorant presence. I feel now the heat. My purest love, Duncan comes here tonight. I won't go to heaven tomorrow. You never shall sun that morrow see. Your face, my fame, is good, for many men may be in strange matters. If I can time, they're welcome in your eye. You have. We will speak further. But we look up clear to all to favour every fear. Leave all the rest to me. Heavy 
be someone else like that upon me and yet I would not see in my torture. Who's there? A friend. What, sir? No, he is a rest. He came to bed. He has been an unusual pleasure to send forth a great while just to hold. This time, the creature of life. In the name of most kind hostess, it shut up in measureless contempt. I dreamt last night that we had brothers. You have shown some truth. Ah, I, I think not of them. Good for a post to laugh. Thanks, sir. I'd like to see you. Is this a dagger which I see before me? A handle toward my hand. Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not fatal vision, sensible, so feeling as the sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation, proceeding from my heat oppressed brain? I see thee yet, in form as palpable as this which now I draw. Thou marshalst me the way I was going, and such an instrument I was to use, made my eyes the bulls of the other senses, or else worth all the rest. I see thee still. And on thy blade dudgeon gouts of blood, which was not so before. I see thee still, and now over the half world, nature seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse the curtain sleep. Witchcraft celebrates pale hectate offerings, a lure of murder withered by a sentinel, the wolf, and thus with stealthy pace, with heart which ravishing strides, moves towards his design like a ghost. Thou sure. And firm set earth, hear not my steps, which way they walk. Fear thy very stones, praise of my whereabout, and take the present horror from the time which now suits with it. Was I threat, he lives. Words to the heat of deeds, too cold breath gives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan. For it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. That which had made them drunk hath made me bold. What if quench them hath given me fire? Hark, peace it is the hour of the shriek. Fatal bell when the bits disturbs. Good night. She is about it. The doors are open. The sleeping guards do mock their duties with stores. I have drunk their possets. Who's there? What? Oh, alack, I fear they have awakened. It is not done. I laid their daggers ready. He could not have missed them. Had he not looked like my father as he slept, I would have done it. My husband. I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream, the crickets cry, did you not speak? When? Now. As I descended? I. Hark, who lies in the second chamber? Lord This is a sorry sight. It's a foolish thought to say a sorry sight. As one did laugh in sleep, and one cried murder, that they did wake each other. I stood and heard them. They did say their prayers and addressed them again to sleep. There are two lodges together. One cried, God bless us, and our men the other as they had seen me with these hangman's hands. But listening to their fears, I could not say our men when they did say God bless us. Consider it not so deep, it shall make us mad. He thought, I heard a voice, cry sleep no more. Macbeth doth murder sleep, the innocent sleep that knits up the frappled sleep of care. Who was it that thus cried? By when he fain he do our men your noble strength with such brain sickly thoughts. Go wash your hands. Why did you bring the daggers from there? They must stay there. Go wipe the sleeping servants with blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think what I've done. Look on it again, I dare not. Infirm of purpose. Whence is that knocking? How is it where every noise appalls me? And what hands are here? We're all great Neptune's oceans. Wash this blood clean from my hands. Our hands are of the same colour. 
thy shame to wear a heart so white. Oh, I hear a at south entry. Retire we to our chamber a little more to wash in myself as deep. Of my violent love outran the cause of reason. Here lay Duncan, 
They are, my lord, not palace gates. Bring them for us. Our fears and backward stick deep. There is none but he whose being I do fear. The weird brothers hailed him father to a line of king. Upon my head they placed a fruitless crown. No son of mine succeeded. If it be so, for banquet's issue I've defiled in my mind. For them, the gracious Duncan, I've murdered to make them kings. The seeds of Banquo, kings. Who's that? Good. Now go to the door and stay there till we fall. Was it not yesterday we spoke together? It was. So please, your highness. Well then, have you considered off my speeches? You made it known to us. Aye, and I went further, which is now our point for second meeting. Do you find your patience so predominant in your nature that you can let this go? Or are you so gospel to pray for this banquet and for his issue, whose heavy hand have begged yours to the grave forever? We are men, <laughs> my liege. Aye, in the castle of you go for men. Now, if you have a station in the park, in the worst rank of manhood, say it. I am one, my liege, who the vile blows and buffets of one have so incensed that I am reckless what I do in spite of. And I, another, so <laughs> wary with disasters, tugged with fortune. I would set my life on any chance to mend it or be rid on it. Both of you, the banquet was your enemy. True, my lord. lord. And so is he mine. And though I could, with barefaced power, sweep him from my sight. Yet I must not. And thence it is, to your assistance, I can call. We shall, my lord, perform what you command us. Though our Your life... spirits shine through you. It must be done tonight, and away from the palace. Leave no rubs and your watches in the world. Oh, and Flaos, his son that keeps him company, must embrace the fate of that dark hour. I'll come to you anon. We're resolved, my lord. It is concluded. Banquo, thy soul's flight. <laughs>
You know your own degrees. Sit down. At first and last, a hearty welcome. Be large in mark. Anon, we'll drink a measure of the table round. Blood on my face. Just back all of them. Better be without the key within. Is he dispatched? My lord, his throat is cut. That I did for him, but play on his escape. Yeah. Then comes my fit again. But back was safe. I, my good lord, safe in the ditch. He bides with twenty trenched gashes in his head. The least of death in nature. Get thee gone. We we'll hear ourselves again tomorrow. My gentle lord, you do not get the chair. May it please your highness, sit. Please, your highness, to grace us with your royal company. The table's full. Here is no flesh yourself, sir. Where? Here, my good lord. This is the news, your highness. Which of you have done this? Don't shake thy glory looks at me. Thou canst not say I did it. Gentlemen, rise. His uh, highness is not well. Uh, uh, sit, worthy friends, my lord is often thus and hath been since his youth. Uh, pray keep seat. He will again upon a thought become well. If much you note him, you shall offend him and extend his passions. But feed and regard him not. Are you a man? Aye, and a bold one, that they look upon what might uphold the devil. A proper stuff, this is the very painting of your fear. This is the air drawn dagger which you said led you to Duncan. Why do you make such faces? In the end, you look but on a stool. Really? Look! A hole, low! What? Quite unmanned in folly. If I stood near, I saw him. But I'm for shame. Aboard! And quit my sight. Let the earth hide me. What man dare, I dare, approach thou, like the rugged Russian bear, the armed rhinoceros, the pike and tiger, take any shape, that that, in my firm mouth, shall never tremble or be alive again. And dare me to the desert with thy sword. If trembling, I have it then, protest me the baby of a girl. Hence, horrible shadow, unreal mockery, hence, Why so? Being God, I am a man again. I pray you, sit still. You've displaced the man, broken up the good meeting. It's much admired disorder. Stand not upon the order of your going, but go at once! Good night, and better help the tenants, His Majesty. It will have blood, they say. Blood will have blood. Steeped in so far that should I wait no more. <coughs> Tomorrow I will go to the weird brothers. Strange things I have in head, which must be acted to hand. You lack the season of all natures. Sleep. Come, go to sleep. My strange and self abuse is the initiate fear that once argues. We are yet but young indeed. Sit 
sits in a foggy cloud and stays for me. Seek to know no more! I will be satisfied! 
fine. Deny me this, and an eternal curse fall on you. Show, 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 show his eyes and grieve his heart. Come like shadows, so depart. I see now it is truth as the blood bolted banker smiles upon me and points at them for his. What? Is this so? I so. All this is so. But why stands for fair for some names? Come, brothers, cheer me up in sprite, and show the best of our delight. Oh, John the heir to give us up, while we perform our hunting round, that this great king may kindly say our duties did his welcome pay. Where are they? Gone? What is your grace's will? Saw you the wind, brothers. Who was it that came by? Tis two or three, my lord, that do bring me word. Macduff is fled to England. Fled to England? I beg your lord. Be it for to die. The castle of Macduff I will surprise. Seize upon a fife and give to the edge of the sword. His wife, his babes, and all unfortunate souls that trace it in his life. Let us rather hold fast the mortal sword, and like a bed destroy our downfall and burst 
Each new morn, new widows howl. He walks and cries. He cries for heaven on the face. It may be so chance that this tyrant, whose soul named bliss is our tongue, was once God on us. Who hath loved the world? He hath not touched you yet. I am young, but suddenly you made his own of him through me, and wisdom drove a weak, poor, innocent lamb to appease an angry God. I am not treacherous, but Macbeth is. I lost my hopes. Perchance even there I did find my doubts. Why in that dawn has left you wife and child? Those precious Moses, those strong notes of love, without leave taking. Leave, leave, poor country, great tyranny. I will not be the villain that thou thinkest. Be not offended. I speak not as an absolute heresy. I think our country sticks to me to you. Oh, Scotland, Scotland! Well, more anon. Come to me every fourth, I pray. Aye, sir. There are a crew of wretched souls that await his cure. Their malady convinces the greatest say of art. But at his touch, such sanctity hath heaven given his hand. They presently amend. I thank you, Doctor. <coughs> What's the disease he means? It is called the evil. A most miraculous work in this good king, which, since my hero made in England, I have seen him do. How he solicits heaven, himself best knows. But strange and to people, all swollen ulcerous, pitiful to the eye, the mere despair of surgery. He cures, but on with holy prayers, and is spoken to succeed in royalty, he leads the healing benediction. With this strange virtue, he hath the heavenly gift of prophecy, and sundry blessings hang about his throne, the speaker full of grace. See, who comes here? My countrymen, yes, I know them not. Uh, I have a gentle cousin. Welcome him. Sir, our men. Oh, the time to move the means to make his treasures. Stand Scotland where it did. Alas, poor country. Almost afraid to know itself. It cannot be called our mother but our grave. What's the nearest for it? That of an hour's age, not his to speak of. Each minute seems a new one. How does my wife? Well, and well. And will my children? Well, too. The time has not battled at their peace. No, no, they will wear the peace when I did leave them. Be it their comfort, we are coming hither. Gracious England hath lent us good silver and ten thousand men. An older and better soldier, none that Christian women is out. Would I could answer this comfort with the light. I have words that would be howled out in the desert air, where hearing should not latch them. What concern them? Please, not let your ears despise my tongue forever. Your castle is surprised. <coughs> Your wife and baby savagely slaughtered. Relate the man of the world of with these murdered deer. As the death of you. Merciful heaven, what man? Never pull your hat upon your brows. Give sorrow words that grief does not speak. Whispers the over for a heart and bids it break. And but my children. Wife, children, servants. Anything that could be found. Be comforted. Let us make medicines of our great revenge to cure this deadly grief. All my pretty ones, heaven rest them now. Be this the whetstone of your sword. Let grief convert to anger. Blunt not the heart. Enrage it. I like to play the woman with my knife and break it with my tongue. But, gentle heavens, cut short all intermission. Front to front, bring now this, this fiend of Scotland and myself within sword like setting. If he stay, heaven forgive him too. This tune goes madly. Come, go we to the king. Our power is ready. Our lack is nothing but our lead. Macbeth is right and shaken, and the powers above put on their entry. Receive what cheer you may. The night is long and never finds the day. My hey brother, it's a good come again. I have two nights watching you, but can't see no truth in your reports. Your opposition asks me. His Majesty went into battle. 
I've seen a right in my bed. Come on, I go. I'm not repulsing. Take hold. Hold it. Right to point. Breathe it without to exceed it. And again, return to bed. Yet all this while I'm the most part sleep. Quick perturbation of nature. To receive at once the benefit of sleep and do the effects of watching. No, you, here she comes. This is a very wise and upon my life fast asleep. So I stand close, you see her eyes are open. I think their senses shut. What are the shells now? Look, she rubs her hands. It's an accustomed action with her. Seeing us washing her hands, I, I've known her continue this course of an hour. Yet his spot. Oh, she speaks. Sit down and come to her, satisfy my reverence. Malcolm, was he not born of blood? 
woman, such a one am I to fear or none. The spirits that know all mortal consequences have pronounced me thus. Fear not, Macbeth, for none of woman born shall ever have power over thee. Then fly, fly, false things, and mingle with the English epicures. The mind I sway by and the heart I bear shall never stack with doubt nor shake with fear. Sir, Devil down the black, thou pretty face blue. What boss thou like goose look? There are ten thousand geese! Villain. Fuck soldier, sir. Go prick thy face, I never read thy beard, thou lily livered boy. What soldiers patch death of thy soul? Those linen sheets and counselors of fear. What soldiers? Wait, face. The English army so pleasing. Ah, take thy face in heaven. Satan, when I behold, I am sick of heart. Satan! What is your gracious pleasure? What news more? Well, it's good to my lord, which was important. I will fight till my flesh from my bones be hacked. Hang me the talk of fear. Bring me my armor. Doctor, how goes your patient? <laughs> Ah! Go and finish to the dog! I'll have none of it! Come, bring me my armor! Satan, send out! Doctor, the thanes fly from me! I will not be afraid of death and fate! To find and wood, you come to Dunsinane! Fear not, 
to burn a word to come to dust an age. And now, a word to come to dust an age. Ring the alarm bell, blow wind, come back. At least we'll die with harness on our back. Oh. 
Lord be ours, the first that ever Scotland in such an honour named. Which would be planted newly with the time, as cruel and home our exiled friends of law that fled the snares of watchful tyranny, producing forth the cruel ministers of this dead butcher and his fiend like queen, who, as this thought by self and violent hands, took off her life. This and what evil else that calls upon us by the grace of grace, we shall perform in time, measure, place. So thanks to all of us and to each one whom we invite to see us proud.